Welcome back, friends. Last Scar here, and it's time for more Life is Strange. Uh, before the story of episode two, episode two of episode two. Here we go. Uh, her mom has her pot, right? So, how do you know which way is up when your whole life has been turned upside down? Or her six? Is that the junkyard? David handled things better, you know? There's more than one approach. Yeah, I know Joyce's approach isn't working, but... The call's done with me. I can't go home anymore. Don't know about David's. Is this junkyard all I've got left? Her dad's car being there is the most ridiculous thing. Holy crap. That's one of the five. Probably. No, the fact Rachel gets buried at the junkyard. Holy crap, right? And then she's gonna repair this truck. And Bonnie? I can fix it. I nice know she's a mechanic. If this beast will ever run again, the first thing it needs is a new battery. Wonder if I can find one around here. That trigger is telling me mannequin head. See her mom's uh, thing. All right, all this. Dear Max, still hate you. It's so interesting how everything's directed towards Max, right? Like, holy crap. Another letter to Max. I'll never send. At least Journal Max won't abandon me the way real Max did. Oh god! Either this journal gets destroyed at the end of this whole thing, or it's out there, and it'd be kind of amazing if Max could find this. Right? Like, if Max could find this? Holy crap. James and Rose. Huh. Episode one. Oh yeah, because there's episode Max. That's why there's four of these things. I think Max is going to be the last thing they do. There we go. Chloe, David's trying to do what he thinks is best. He's such a tool. I didn't like that he asked you to empty your pockets, but then you had weed, didn't you? Because it's awesome! I just don't know what to do anymore. It rhymes with Cleve Flavid. <laughs> Chloe, can you just forget about David for a second? Think about me. Maybe just need space, okay? Maybe I need my daughter back. Like, you feel bad, you know? You feel bad. Feel bad about this situation. That's a battery! Guess I was pretty pissed at Rachel last night. Amazing that someone I just met could have made me this angry. Cool bus. Oh yeah, get battery put in truck. <laughs> yeah, okay. Might be better in here. I wonder if I'll ever ride one of these again. Where are we gonna get a battery? Beach hell? You're a long way from the beach. Hmm. Oh, maybe that truck with the boot. Here's a side of Arcadia Bay they don't put on the postcards. This has got to be. Yeah, yeah. It's a newer looking car. Huh? Wow. <laughs> Shitty ride, drug dealer. I really thought crime paid better. 
Where does it say? Oh, Narcotics Damage Act 1985. Okay. Huh. This thing looks somewhat new. Maybe the battery still works? There's a chance. What are you trying to hide under there, Hood? Oh, we gotta pry it open. Yeah, there's a latch. <laughs> oh! Take! Batteries are balls heavy. That's where she carries this easily. Here we go. The pick of the litter. Not that light. It's not that light. Those things are heavy. I deny that she carries it so easily. I deny this. They're heavy. They really are. Take a while for people to tell them that you're not supposed to like put them on their side or anything. I didn't know. They're, they're supposed to just always be, you know, on the bottom. Don't want to leave yet. Whoops, wrong way. Seriously though, is it just a battery? American Rust. <laughs> Sounds about right. Looks about right. Put it in. Gonna put the cables in. Yeah, not using gloves. Holy crap. You could shock like me and night, night in the woods would be hilarious. Are the keys even in there though? Oh my god. I need gas. Damn. This thing needs more love than I can give right now. In the meantime, maybe I can spruce it up a bit. Hmm, Rachel? Right. Chloe Price. I don't suck? You really, really don't. My mom thinks I do. I don't know if I can stand going home tonight. Still there? Grabbing something from home, then I'll meet you at the junkyard. See you really soon. You better. Also bring gas. Might need that. Alright, let's see. Look. While an escape hatch could be nice, I should probably cover over this massive hole. <laughs> yeah. Probably a good idea to cover over this with something. Just cover everything. Alright. Beach shell! Right, if I look, I can find something else to fix inside the truck. Uh, oh! Here we go. Maybe there's another light bulb I can put in here. Now we can leave. Is this the bottles all over again, trying to find a okay. freaking light bulb? Let's see what else this trash heap has to offer. We know the beach towel is an option. That's gonna be- Let's look at her hand. Find more to fix! <laughs> Beach towel. That'll be used for the seat. This could cover that torn seat and look awesome doing it. No, I don't remember how her truck looks on the inside. Sign, so make it a great day. Don't tell me what to do. <laughs> okay, Chloe. Okay. Bye, bub. I always wanted a pet snake. Instead, I got David. Fuck everything. Uh. You might not work. Then again, I hardly ever work. Just need something for the floor, maybe like metal or something, or a mat. Maybe they have a mat.
Alright, nope, nope, nope. Hmm. Looking great. There it is! I used to love opening up the diner with mom before school. I guess those days are now officially over. Ah, uh, okay, keep looking. Maybe a wash me. Ah, uh, here we go. This? This mat has seen some things. Mostly Do it. feet. You should cover that life-endangering floor hole quite nicely. Okay, get going. Do, 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 do. Oh, wait, can I run? Yeah, I can run! <laughs> I forgot that's a thing. Uh, the truck is here. Probably use the mannequin head as a hood ornament. It would be great. Not sure what's wrong with the engine, or how to fix it. Not yet, anyway. Alright, place it. Welcome! Next. Yeah, I don't remember that in the original. Don't remember that right now. Don't remember that. Or the bulb. This thing looks like a rusted out shopping cart. Probably drives like one too. That's if it ever does drive, which seems questionable. Someday. Still, how sweet would that be? Yeah? Right, it's Frank. Oh. Uh. Hey, Frank. What's up? Yeah, just checking in to see how you're doing. Really? What? No. Listen, we've got some business to discuss. Where can we meet? What about... Oh, uh, like... drugs? Right. <laughs> I'm hanging out in the junkyard, north of town. The junkyard? That's great. Stay there, I'll see you soon. Okay. And Frank? Is everything cool? I'm not in trouble or anything, right? I don't know. Did you do anything you should be in trouble for? <laughs> like, in general? Or to you? <laughs> I'll see you soon. Why would you tell about the junkyard, though? Because he know, like, later on, that's how he knows where to find her. It's the junkyard. Time for a hard-earned smoke break. Alright, let's see, Graffiti. You only get one chance to make a first expression. Uh, mystical, why not? The eye sees all. Of course. Of course, that's what she puts. Tell me if we're ever really getting out of Arcadia Bay, all-seeing eye. Damn light. Does your truck look like an aquarium on wheels? <laughs> Didn't think so. <laughs> Honk. Car explodes.
Well, oh, there goes our copyright. You were flaunting all your open wounds. I can't express them better than you. You have buried childish qualities from me. Another dream? I have to do the fire? Ha! Shit. I slept all day. Wh what the hell? Not creepy at all. That's your dad. Dad? Having marshmallows at his car. Dad, you're like, you're gonna die in a couple of years. Do I feel like roasting a marshmallow? Yes. I wonder if it burned like this the day... the day it happened. Jesus. I miss him so much. Gotta be tough. Do I even like marshmallows? That's a good question. Do it. Do it. Waiting for his dad, he's like, "Who said to take that?" Weird how slow this all is, huh? This isn't creepy at all. Amazing. Isn't it? I can't look away. Sure. Don't pretend you're not mesmerized too. Huh? See? You're so drawn to it, you don't even realize the danger. Danger? Fire blinds us, just like darkness. But darkness blinds with absence, with loss. What does fire blind with? With effing fire. Beauty. Huh. Okay. But sometimes there's a greater beauty yet to come. We're not even high. Incredible. Fire is jealous, Chloe. It wants all the beauty for itself. That's why you need to be careful. Huh? Careful of what?
Who's first, Frank or Rachel? I'm gonna say Rachel and then Frank shows up. Because we need Rachel to meet Frank more. Did she smell with the door windows closed? Huh. No, no, no. Hasn't anyone ever told you not to fall asleep with a lit cigarette? You could start a fire. Really? She says that. So, are you gonna invite me in, or what? Randomly reminds me, in one of my jobs I had to clean my boss's truck, he had like a dozen crushed beer cans and way too many packs of smokes in the trunk. In the bed thing. Of course! I love giving rides to strange drifters. Hop in. <laughs> Thanks. Were we totally gonna be a douche and not let her in? Uh, that's a bag. Oh, right, the door. <laughs> Damn, you've been busy. It's nothing. Just some junk I found lying around. A rainbow towel? A freaky red light? Holy shit. The all-seeing eye. <laughs> Figured it can't hurt to have the Illuminati on our side for whenever shit goes down. Always thinking ahead. Chloe, this is incredible. I, I can't believe you found us an escape vehicle already. <laughs> I hope. <sighs> That's the hope. But it doesn't exactly drive yet. You'll figure it out. And while you're at it, we're also gonna need some money. <laughs> you know, to buy stuff. Uh-huh. Car and money? <laughs> Anything else you'd like? Oh yeah, Frank loan. Luckily, there's no rush. True. And no Blackwell. <sighs> Holy shit. <laughs> that Wells meeting. I'm so sorry. I can't believe he actually suspended you. Really? I'd say it's like the most believable thing that's ever happened to anyone in the history of forever. I'm just so pissed about the play. How could they let Victoria Chase jack your role? Because life is a tale told by an idiot, full of sound and fury, signifying nothing. Yeah, totally. At least Wells has no idea what really went down with us last night. Shit got pretty wild. That was a book quote, by the way. Like, um... It literally called The Sound of the Fury. It's, uh... It's a hell of a book. I both like and hate that book. <laughs> Rachel, that was more than pretty wild. You went absolutely nuts last night. What the hell were you thinking? I was angry. I didn't expect the whole stupid park to go whoosh. But now you're in on it too. Accessory after the fact. Unless you tell on me, of course. I'm no snitch. <laughs> I'd be way happier going to jail than having to live at home with Dick Tater David. He announced his plans to move in this morning. Oh, Chloe, that's awful. I'm so sorry. You know what we both could use? <laughs> Therapy. More fire? More fire? Therapy. You start. Kick back and tell me what's bothering you. Oh, okay. I'm surprised there's no option to put your head on her lap. I'm surprised there's no option. Well, Doc. Hmm. David! There's this dildo with a mustache who's been dating my mom, and now he thinks... He's moving in with us. How do I stop him? Hmm. That's a hard one. I'm not sure there's really anything you can do. Yep! Then what the hell am I talking to you for? Just because you can't stop him doesn't mean you don't fight back. The resistance begins now. 
All right. Hmm. You're going to need a new nickname to mark your enemy. What have you got? We call him Step Douche, doesn't she? He's, uh, Step Douche. Because he's inserting himself where he doesn't belong. <laughs> also, he's a douche. Oh dear. Poetic. May I also suggest Step Ladder? Why Step Ladder? Because he climbs on your mom every night. Ew! Oh. <laughs> and pretty soon, they'll be stepping down the aisle. What the Ooh. hell kind of therapist are you? <laughs> Sorry. It's called shock therapy. Highly controversial. Just twisting the knife! Just twisting the knife! Your turn now. That was actually somewhat therapeutic. Thank you. It's always a pleasure delving into the mind of Chloe Price. And now it's your turn. Tell me all about what it's like being daughter of Arcadia Bay's most famous scumbag. It sucks. Too blunt? Sorry. I do that sometimes. Nah, I'm just... Ugh, I don't know. I thought they were going to take turns. They're not taking turns. I made a mistake in life. Again. Can we talk about something else? Of course. Uh... The truck! I kind of fixed the truck a bit. That might mean I have life skills, something I've really tried to avoid. Upshot, I'm closer to becoming a car thief. That's pretty badass. Uh... Do you think there's a point when you've been acting so much that you don't even have your own personality anymore? You're just whatever you think other people want you to be. I think you have a personality. I wasn't talking about me. Huh? My dad doesn't really exist. You saw him in Wells' office. The whole thing is a performance. And now I'm starting to feel like everything in my life is bullshit. But he's still my dad. How can I make sure I don't end up like him? Uh, I won't let you. You just need someone around who likes you for who you are and isn't afraid to call bullshit when needed. Well, let me know if you find any candidates for the job. Let me! Shit, it's playtime. Gotta go clean out my dressing room for Victoria. Not exactly the role I thought I'd be playing tonight. Oh well. Hey, I, I was thinking that after the show, maybe we could go do something. Just you and me. Something criminal? Criminally fun. Crimes? Crimes. <laughs> I'm in. Wait, you forgot your bag. It's for you. But Just a little survival kit for your new life on the lamb. Drive safe, Chloe. You ain't driving nowhere. Oh yeah, where's Frank? Yeah, they said at their base there. <laughs> Hello, Junk Shack. <laughs> Time to check out Rachel Amber's mystery bag. That will be interesting. In the next episode! Okay, so... Next time we'll check all this stuff out. So we missed out on the Blackwell talk, and I forget what the other option was. Oops! Alright, so... Where's this going? I don't know where this is going right now. I know we take money from Frank in the future. This place is the shit. It's like... 
My junk fortress of solitude. And we still have to be expelled, right? And uh, we still need the blue hair. I'm assuming blue hair is going to be in the last episode or maybe at the end of this one. There's a couple things that still need to happen. But for now, that right there is the game. I had fun. Hope you had fun watching. That's what it's all about, isn't it? Having fun. Thanks and bye. And see you next time.